Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palne Panmanikam. In the previous video, I have mentioned that my goal is to decrease my body fat percentage from 28 to 17 and my decrease my belly fat waist circumference by April 2023. After making that video, I was like, Then I looked at my previous favorite t-shirt that I had which said, I love Goa. And it's a very tight t-shirt t-shirt which is small in size the shoulder size is small but the belly size is XXL so then it really hit me hard that if I don't take any steps or get my act together and if I end up getting heart attack or diabetes down the road this mistake is unforgivable so I came up with a detailed plan that is what I'm going to discuss in this video let's dive deep into it. So the first thing that you should understand is what is skinny fat. As you guys all know, I was obese before. Please check out my previous video about calorie restrictions and time restricted feeding that I did. That is how I decreased my weight, but not the belly fat. After seeing the thumbnail of the video, people were like whether this guy lost weight or lost hair. So my waist circumference was 102 centimeters before. It came down to 91 centimeters with time restricted feeding. But but it is not moving an inch after because I'm not making the right steps. So I have done all kinds of techniques including holding the breath like this but when I breathe out my belly pops out as if my body is blowing out a bubble gum. So what I actually need is called body fat recomposition and that is what we are going to discuss this in this video. So the kind of obesity what I am having is called apple shaped obesity where the fat is getting deposited in the belly. There is another kind of obesity called pear shaped obesity where it is deposited in the lower abdomen and thighs. Apple shaped obesity is much much harmful than the pear shaped obesity. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. If you have apple shaped obesity, the doctor should be in your bedroom. So what is the solution to this? The treatment is you lose fat and build muscle. How do we do that? As you know, fat is because of excess calories. So you have to decrease the calorie intake. Muscle needs more calories. So building muscle will need protein rich calories. So let me explain this by using me as an example. So let's say my calorie requirement is 1900 calories using my basal metabolic rate calculator. The link will be in the description. And based on that, if I have to lose fat, I need need to go a little bit less than my required calories let's say I choose like 1700 calories then I will lose fat slowly so then to build muscle I need to make sure that among the 1700 calories I need at least 30 percentage of protein intake so let's do the math 30% of 1700 calories comes around 500 calories. One gram of protein gives you four calories. So if you divide 500 by four, you will need at least 125 grams of protein per day. Very proud of my max. So if I take 30% protein, the remaining 70% will be a split between carbohydrates and fats. I have preferred to be on 40% carbs and 30% fat plus 30% protein as we discussed. My friends, Saramna Kumar was like, if I have to get this mix, can I mix Arabic dish with a kuttu borota called Arabic kuttu? I was like, if you keep on eating like this, I'll be dancing at your funeral for the song Arabic kuttu. Alamadi abibu, alamati abi wanda, alamati abibu. So there's another problem with muscle building. It not only needs protein, it also needs some kind of stimulation. You need to do some kind of resistance training like weightlifting or body weight training protein along with resistance training will build muscle protein alone will not do anything my friend Saravna Kumar is like I'm exercising my mind every day on social media will I get a six pack all he gets is a six pack in his chin so to achieve my goal it is very simple I need to decrease my calories and make sure that within the calories I eat adequate amount of protein and I at least do three times a 
week of resistance training by weightlifting. So after seeing my goal, my friend Saravana Kumar went to the gym. I saw him post workout. He was walking like Pushpa, Allu, Arjun, Sri Valli song. So all this will take time. So take it very slowly. Don't get injured. Talk to your doctor as well. For me, my body fat is 28% to decrease to 17%. It is going to take at least one year of my plan. Why do I want to do this? Why do I want to go through all this pain? Because I know that the outcome is excellent. Once I reach my goal, my sleep quality will be better. My basal metabolic rate is increased so that I feel active throughout the day. I will not feel drowsy as I'm feeling later in the afternoon. And also I don't have to worry about these constant calorie intake every day because muscles burn more calories than anything. And more importantly, this is an investment that I'm doing for my kids so that this increases the chances of me being alive for them until they turn 18 years of age. The secondary reason I really want to do this is because my four year old son Arjun thinks that his mom has delivered two sons and he looks at my belly and thinks that I'm going to deliver a girl baby to play with him. So many people are asking why now because I am 38 years of age as age advances the likelihood of building muscle goes down. You have to put more than twice the amount of efforts when you go beyond 40 to build muscle. I'm not saying it is not possible it is definitely possible you just have to put in a lot more effort so for me at this time it is a relatively easier option to put this work now rather than waiting to turn 40 and then work on it so before 40 you can bend it like Beckham but after 40 you not only have to bend it like Beckham but also have to bend it like his father so my friend Sarana Kumar is asking what are you going to do with all this are you going to live 100 years it is not a point of living a up to 100 years even if we live up to 10 years we shouldn't live with 100 problems it is all about quality of life so thungum bodu porviya pothittu thunganum prachaneya pothittu thunga kudadu illati neenga bhoomiyila thoongittu swargathil endripinga since i gave my word to you guys in the last video my friend saravana kumar has been forwarding this video to all his friends and relatives with the caption oru vela idu nadakkama pochu palaniyappanoda pechu ninnu pochu abrindide so here is my plan for the next one year. So I'll give you some numbers. I'm 38 years old. My waist circumference is 91 centimeters and I weigh only 70 kilos or 155 pounds. So for the body fat recomposition, I need to start with my first step of calculating basal metabolic rate. Everybody has their own basal metabolic rate. You can calculate that with simple variables. You could drop that in the equation given in the description below. So for me, it comes around 1900 calories. As we talked about before, we need to do fat loss first by decreasing the calorie restriction. So I'm going to stick to 1700 calories. So the second step is out of the 1700 calories, I need to determine my macros. Macros means protein, fat and carbohydrates. I have decided that I'm going to go with 40% carb, 35% protein and 25% fat. It will differ based on your goals and fitness levels as well but this can be done easily by tracking down any kind of app my fitness pal e healthify me there are so many apps available again a word of caution my fitness pal is not my app at all so i have done this multiple times before but the problem is while you are very disciplined your mom will come and say that can you eat this murku just for me and your wife will come and say that can you eat this paniyaram just for me and they would have applied 30 percent reservation in your stomach for snacks or already please hold that petition for one year so the third step which is the most important step is i need to plan the diet well in advance for example tomorrow is monday then you plan your diet on sunday evening regarding your breakfast lunch and dinner what you are going to eat and you pre-populate that in this app so that at least you will have an idea 
So I'm going to show you what I have in mind for the next week. So let's see that together. So let's be take to the macro portion first. In my fitness pal, if you look into it, you could clearly see the number of macros based on the calorie 1700. I've chosen 40, 30, 30 for now. So that will give me 30% as 128 grams of protein. So I am planning for my day tomorrow. So if you look at them, the top, it says tomorrow. And if you look at breakfast, I have included eggs, milk, sugar, snacks as dates around like 10 a.m., some broccoli, some lentil dal. All this adds up to 474 calories for breakfast. And for lunch, it's, it's a heavy 752. Uh, which means uh, I know I have tofu, walaka puriyal chana, broccoli, avocado. I remember only like half of it because avocado was heavy in calories. And for dinner, I have shrimp masala, roti, uh, fruit, kiwi. And whenever you are including uh, shrimp uh, or any kind of masala, you should also add olive oil to it or oil calories to it so that you don't uh, forget the number of calories. So if I do that, I have 1727 calories, which is slightly above 1700, but I will still take it. And if you look at my total intake for the day, protein is 135, carbs is 174, slightly above fat is 59. Remember, this is just an anticipated dietary chart. If I can stick to it it is well and good if i go above and beyond it is okay as well i'm not going to be very strict on it initially uh, because i need to get on a regimen first my friend Saravna Kumar is asking, does spitting saliva count as decreasing the calories? I said yes, only if you look up and spit. So once you figure out the dietary chart, the fourth step is to how to incorporate strength training in your routine. So I have went to gym, I have hired a personal trainer, I have spent so much money on it already. Personal trainers love me because I sign up and I just don't go at all. Um, so I don't want that to happen again. So whatever that works out for you please look for basic exercises like you know push-ups something to deal with resistance training and strength training and i'm going to implement that at least three days a week let us talk about it in detail in the next video so remember all your goals have to be realistic i cannot shoot for like five days a week and i know that i will not be able to do it given my busy hospital schedule but three days a week if i can push i can definitely do it in a week so I asked my friend Saravna Kumar to listen to motivational songs during workout in gym. He is dozing off in gym because he's listening to Ilaya Raja melody songs at 5 a.m. in the morning. It sounds a lot, isn't it? I need to modify my diet. I need to calculate my calories. I need to lift weights and do resistance training. That is why it takes time, but it can be definitely doable. All you need is to plan well in advance. I am on call next week, so I am planning well in advance regarding what day I'm going to work out. If you see somebody in the car trying to lift weights, that might be me. So again, start very slowly. You don't have to do all the steps that I discussed. Whatever works for you, start very slowly. It is going to take some time until you get in cruise control. You need to figure out all the factors in this equation. And trust me, if you are at it, it will all fall in the same track. Just the fact that I have to make a weekly video to update you regarding my progress makes me more accountable. Listen to yourself and then see what will make you more accountable. Maybe replying as a comment to this video or sending me an email regarding your progress or whatever works for you. You have to have an accountability factor and also the reason why you are doing this. We can do this together. If you are still not motivated, I'm going to propose to the government to implement a fat tax rate. If your body fat percentage is more than 25%, I'm proposing to implement a 25% more tax on your income tax. So remember, whatever you do, you need to enjoy the process. You can push yourself. You have to push yourself to an extent, but you don't have to be miserable. You need to find that fine line because if you don't find that, it is not sustainable. So it is going to take some time initially. It is going to be very difficult, but I can guarantee you that if you do this daily for at least four weeks, all this will fall in place. So don't lose hope. And the next thing is don't expect results right away. Do not even look into your weighing scale for three months because nothing is going to happen. After three months, you will definitely see results visibly. So the fact that I'm doing this weekly updates, 
uh, I can tell you my difficulties during the week, what are the stuff that I am doing, what are the uh, challenges that I am facing, what I am doing to overcome it. Let's discuss this further. All these weekly videos will be grouped under a playlist called Weekly Progress and I want you to join that as well. So people who have joined the Lose Fat with Dr. Pal Challenge, this is the homework for you. You need to do the first two steps. What is your calculated basal metabolic rate using the equation given in the description. Number two, you need to go 200 calories less to start with and then start jotting down regarding what you are eating every day. I have linked my previous video explaining this in detail in the description link as well. And regarding the third step of anticipating your dietary chart the day before, I will leave it up to you. If you're up for it, you can do it. The same thing will go with your fourth step of weight training as well. Again, take it very slow. You have to push yourself, but to a very fine line, you need to enjoy the process. Time restricted feeding na puttu vachikittu pungal belly fat uh, the most important thing is throughout this process i will be maintaining the time restricted feeding as well sticking to my eating window and i would highly recommend you to do that as well i know that you can do this i know that i can do this with the help of you some people want it happen some people wish it happen some people make it happen i want our subscribers to the last category of people who can make it happen we can do this together i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.